Where did you learn to sing? Would you take a picture of me? Sure. Okay. I'll see it. Put a, a new tape in. Mom, what are you doing? I'm testing out my tape. You mean it was just a bad tape all this time? Might have been. What's the song? You'll be all right. You don't mind if I shoot some film, huh? Nah. Oh, please stand up. Yes. Oh, my. Okay. Get your hands on your tennis.
Roxy ought to go get a seat, huh?
government contract. But not all of Santa's helpers were happy at Christmas time. There was one very grumpy, very grouchy, unpleasant helper named Bob Humbug. Bob never had a smile on his face. Instead, he frowned and scolded and made icky faces. Everyone called him Yeah. 
them quietly. Soon, Carla and Mia smiled. They jumped and leaped and shouted, Grandma!
tell you, we're very, very proud of but I and of all of them. But I want the, the little kitten and the mouse to come over here for a second. These two little girls stepped in this week when the two people, Chelsea and Kelsey, who were supposed to play these parts, came down with the chicken box. So they came in and learned their lines and did a wonderful job, and we're proud of every one of them here today. Good job. Close that back door. It's just blinding out everything. The other one, too. Thank you. 
Stachosaurus Nex. Oh, goodness, how cute. Did you see that on TV? Oh, right. You seem like you know that. That's neat. I have to look far and wide to find a green one. Really? You can open all of them. That's from Dad's to grandmother. Hey, cool. You're not going to guess what it is? Uh, I think maybe it could be a uh, microwave. TV? Keep going. Now that's our gag gift for the year. At five, a kid rescued from a drainage pipe on Jones Creek Road and an accident at Exxon. Also coming up, learn the Baton Rouge teenagers. They were sucked into a drainage canal along the Jones Creek Road. Marvin McGraw was standing by during the rescue this evening, and he joins us now from the scene. Marvin? Quite simply, an incredible story here this afternoon. Two 13-year-old boys were playing on the banks of this canal. When it began to rain, though, the kids made the mistake of crawling inside this drainage pipe. In a matter of minutes, it filled with water, sweeping the kids inside. One of the kids was carried by the water through the entire quarter-mile length of the pipe and came out the other end safely. He was able to crawl out. The second grabbed onto a fitting inside the pipe where, terrified, he held on against the rising water. Now, minutes after all this happened, at around 3 o'clock, 
Rescue teams from the St. George and Eastside Fire Departments arrived on the scene. And using their rescue gear, they went into the drainage pipe. After nearly an hour's worth of work working from two ends, they were able to pull 13-year-old Joe Stewart uh, into the waiting arms of friends and family. What was going through your mind when you were holding on to the pipe? Uh, Hail Mary from the full of grace, Lord is with it. You were praying while you were holding on to the pipe? Uh, I'm glad I'm alive. The current just ri rose a little bit, and we were like, oh, well, it's, you know. And then it just kept it ri rose up to knee high, and we started walking out, and it just took us, and we just started floating down. He grabbed onto a pipe. Now, without question, the firemen are the heroes here today. They say Joe Stewart and 13-year-old Matt Wilkes are lucky to be alive tonight. Both kids were treated here at the scene by paramedics and later released to their parents. Back to the set. All right. Baton Rouge storm produces a tornado warning. What? And it's football. Details next from Louisiana's News Channel. Newscast watched by more people than any other. He's a child molester. And, and I'm George Sales. What two teenagers thought was a playground turned out to be a danger zone this afternoon in the Jones Creek area. The two teenagers were playing in a canal on the edge of the Hickory Ridge subdivision when heavy rains caused strong currents which pulled them both into a drainage culvert. And as WAFB's Lisa Robertson reports, it was a dramatic rescue. Some tense moments for rescue workers in East Baton Rouge Parish trying to rescue 13-year-old Joey Stewart who was sucked into a culvert. It happened in this open field in the Hickory Ridge subdivision behind Sunburst Bank. Joe and his friend Matt Wilkes were playing there when it started raining, and the force of the water pulled both of them under. Matt got out, but Joey was trapped. How are you? Minutes later, Joe emerged safe and apparently unharmed. I knew he was going to make it, but I just I was happy he was out. Joe was carried to an ambulance where minutes later his father arrived. They had just got him out, so that was a relief. How did it look down there? Uh, I'm scared. <laughs> really scared. What are you going to do next? No, uh, I'm going to say George. Get some rest. Yeah. Officials say this is one young man lucky to be alive. Lisa Robertson, WAFB News. Children playing in drainage canals is pretty common, especially during the summer. Last year, two brothers died while playing near Wards Creek when one boy fell in and the other tried to save him. WAFB's Isaiah Carey is live at the site where today's incident occurred with some information on how you can prevent this from happening to your child. Absolutely, George. It happens all the time, as one EMS official told us. We're right behind Oak Ridge subdivision, Hickory Ridge subdivision, rather, where it happened today. And you can see in the area where the kids went down, where you see some people standing up there. They went down there, traveled all the way underground, which is about 200 yards from here, and one of the kids came up right here in this hole. This is where the rescue effort took place. Now, another kid ended up about 100 yards over at Woodlawn High School. They traveled a long way underground, and it was a frightening um, scene under there for one kid, as he explained it to me. Right now, we're with uh, Matt Giot from EMS, and Matt, how often does this happen, and what should parents do to prevent this? Uh, we're seeing more and more instances of it happening uh, during the summer times, especially. Uh, the basic way to inform the kids is education, of course, just telling them not to go into the uh, into the culverts. The water is swift; you can't see the terrain that's underneath the water. Uh, the currents can carry you a long way, even though it may look calm enough to walk through. Uh, also, if you live near a canal area, you might want to inspect the yard in the back to make sure there's no sinkholes in the yard or make sure that there's no uh, openings to the culverts that the kids can get to. You might want to put a barricade in front of it. And if you do find anything, you want to contact uh, the city's Department of Public Works and uh, let them know about it to fix their problem. All right, thanks a lot, Matt. Now, if we can get a shot of that hole, you'll see where it was open for more than seven months, according to one DPW worker. And here's where the board that was supposed to be covering the hole is. Now, that DPW worker who's just on the scene with some barricades apparently didn't leave any. This is the only thing protecting it, a crime scene line. Now, you say it's DPW. Uh, the Department of Public Works will be out here tomorrow morning to try and prevent this and to cover this holdup. I'm Isaiah Carey reporting live on the scene. Okay, thanks very much, Isaiah. And in addition to what Chad Giot from EMS says, another problem for rescue authorities is the fact that a lot of these underground lines, uh, one of which these two youngsters were trapped in this afternoon, are uncharted. They don't know exactly where to look. Luckily, both boys were rescued this afternoon. You may remember...
Dave Perry has the latest. 13-year-old Matt Wilkes and Joe Stewart was playing in the canal behind Hickory Ridge subdivision this afternoon. Heavy rains began falling, and so did the boys. They were swept with the current for several hundred yards under the ground, with Matt ending up near Woodlawn High School and Joe being trapped in this culvert. The culvert, which has a fork in it, it splits two ways. One child was uh, shut out to the right, popped out the other end, was fine. The other kid went to the left side of the culvert and was caught up on some, uh, some reinforcing wire. It took rescue workers just under a half an hour to save Joe, who desperately clung to life on a metal bar as pressure from the swift currents fought against him. I was just you know, thinking, just hold on. You know? Don't let go. Or, I, I thought my friend was dead. I thought he was going to be down there for a long I knew he was going to make it, but I just, I was just happy he was out. How often do you see something like this, kids playing in culverts around the city? Uh, we've had several calls to where kids were in the, uh, the open drainage canals and got swept away in the water. We've had some drownings recently. Um, there, there is an, an existence of it now, but uh, I'm not sure if it's, if it's a major concern of the city at, at this time. After a day of trauma and staring head-on with death, one of the boys came back to...